Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm really excited for this video because we're doing one of my favorite activities and that is book shopping. So there are a couple of books that I've been meaning to pick up recently and I thought I would take you guys along with me because I love watching book shopping vlogs so I wanted to make another one. So that's what we're doing today. I'm really excited. I have a bunch of books that I plan to pick up. My wallet is not happy but I will be happy so it's a trade-off for sure. <laughs> I also have a box of books right next to me which you cannot see whatsoever that I am going to be selling at Half Price Books. They give me like absolutely nothing for said books but the instant gratification is nice so we'll see how much I get and if it's literally anything so yes I will I will see you guys there. I needed this book because this is literally such a deal for the original covers. I mean, it was, a, it was a pretty good time, but I was gonna say a very long time. And I ended up getting about $22 for all of my books, which I'm very happy about because I didn't think I was gonna get much for them. So the two books I got were essentially free to me. Um, like not really, but kind of. And I got money back, so more money for more book buying. So I'm gonna do like a final haul at the end. So I'll show you these two books later, even though you probably saw what they were. But now I'm gonna go to Barnes & Noble. Pretty excited about it. They should have, I'm looking for like four or five books specifically, and I'm really hoping that they have them. It's like a lot to buy at one time, but it's fine. We're fine. So I'll see you at Barnes & Noble. Barnes and Noble, which again, I will show you later. I probably look so sketchy <laughs> walking around bookstores because when I'm filming, not usually, but like when I have my camera, I'm like setting it on things, getting a shot, and then I like run back and shove it in my purse, and they probably think I'm like stealing books, but I'm like, no. I'm just awkward and I can't let people know I'm filming things in public. I made eye contact with a couple of people while I was like setting up a shot, and I was like, ooh. But it's fine. I'm gonna go get a drink just because it's so hot and I need a drink. And then I'm gonna go to the last Half Price Books. And then I'm gonna go home because I'm already tired. I've only been out for like two hours, but I'm like, whoo. It's also like the hottest day of the year, so maybe that has something to do with it, but it's fine. Everything's fine. If anybody wants to know, I got a strawberry acai lemonade, light ice, no berries because I like to be difficult. Um, Oh, it's tart. I was gonna get a matcha, but then I realized 94 degree weather doesn't really mix with milk, so I decided a lemonade seemed like, you know, the right pick. So, I'm quickly losing steam, but I'm still gonna go to the last half price books that I was planning to go to. I don't know how far away it is, though. It's 24 minutes. Do I wanna go? Yeah, I'll go. <laughs> I'm paying 
$50 for this, but it's really cool and I wish I could pay $50 for it. So I just got out of Half Price Books and I'm now finished with my book buying for the day, thankfully, because I don't think my wallet can take anymore. And I'm so tired. So I'm gonna go home, eat some lunch, and then I will give you a haul of the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven books that I found today. So I'll see you in a bit. Hello, everybody. It is the next day. And I know I said I was gonna film this yesterday, but I did not. <laughs> Also, I put on the same shirt for continuity purposes. I was just gonna pretend that this was the same day, but I'm gonna I'm keep it real, it's not. So, I'm going to give you a little haul of these seven books that I picked up yesterday. I'm very excited about all of them. I feel like I got a couple of good finds here. The first one I have here is An Ember in the Ashes by Sabah Tahir. I was talking to Cass, like, last week, and she was saying a lot of good things about this series, and I trust Cass's opinion on, like, everything, so. Here we go. It's also getting very bright in here. The sun does not know what it wants to do right now. So we're just gonna, it's fine. Don't, don't worry about the fluctuating lighting circumstances. But yes, I've just heard so many good things about this series, even just in general. And I've been wanting to check it out and they had it and it was only six bucks and here we go. Also, this is like a very random side note, but the construction of the paperbacks for this series is just so nice and I don't see how this book was only $13 originally because the cover's super thick, the pages are like nice and thick, and if this was like an adult fantasy, it would be like 20 bucks. So that doesn't really have anything to do with anything, but I just thought it was interesting. <laughs> then the next book that I have, I think is my most exciting book for me, probably not for you, but it's the most exciting one for me, because every time I go into half price books, I have a couple of different series that I look for so I can complete my own collections of them because I don't wanna buy them new but I do really want to own them, you know? And I was so excited when I saw that they had this one because this is the last book in this series that I've been looking for and now I finally have a completed set of them. Not of the hardbacks, some of them are in paperback, but this one's a hardback and it was only 10 bucks. And it's Kingdom of Ash by Sarah J Maas. Also, here's another side note. I did not realize this book was almost a thousand pages. Why is this book so long? I mean, damn. I don't really know how long I thought this book was, but I really did not think it was close to four digits and now I'm scared, honestly. I'm really glad they had it. I'm really glad it was only 10 bucks because this is a very hefty hardback. And am I anywhere close to being able to read this book? No, but I'll be happy to have it when I get to this point. Then next up, I went to Barnes and Noble because I've been meaning to pick up the last three books in this series for at least like two days now. So I figured it was time. <laughs> That's the last three books in the Shatter Me series and first up, I've actually read two of these already. <laughs> One of them, which I read completely just like from my library copy, which I actually have right here. Hi. Twins? Yeah. Um, is Restore Me. Honestly, I'm not gonna give you a book review, but like what's going on in this second half of this series? Like I literally don't know. And honestly, I really like this one just because of like the all white and then the I and the me match like that's cool defy me which i was halfway through yesterday because i also had the library copy here um and then i finished it last night in this copy and then imagine me which would be read completely from this copy um not that you really asked but there we go i'm excited to continue the series honestly the more i go through the last three books the more i like them the first one i don't even know it was a ride. Like I said, I'm not here to give you a book review, but like, I just feel like I need to talk about it. I will save it for my wrap up though. I was originally gonna pick up Believe Me as well, just because I don't really want to own the other novellas, like the Warner and Adam novellas and then the Kenji novellas, but I know what happens in Believe Me, I think, like I'm 99% sure what happens in that novella. And I just want to own it physically because wow, I'm excited. But it was also like, $11 for a book like so tiny and I think I might try and find it used somewhere just because I don't know if I can bring myself to spend $11 for like a hundred pages, you know, it might be more than a hundred pages But still it's just so small, but I love the cover and I was just like going through this mental debate in Barnes & Noble yesterday I was like, do I get it? Do I not get it? Do I have money for this? I don't know, <laughs> so I didn't get it, but 
I did pick up these three so and then at the other half price books I went to I found one of the other books that I've been looking for and that is The Fifth Season by N.K. Jemisin. I've heard really good things about this series and N.K. Jemisin's writing and I'm just excited to get to this one at some point soon for sure so there's that and then the last book that I bought is something that I really have no idea how I'm going to feel about and that's because it is a contemporary romance that I've heard both really good things about and really bad things about so I don't know what that really says. <laughs> that is the Spanish Love Deception by Elena Armas. I really, like, literally no clue how I'm gonna feel about this book. I feel like when I first started hearing about it, I heard so many good things. People were raving about it. And then, like, a couple months later, it got, like, a mini resurgence, almost, of people just, like, hating on it. <laughs> I don't know where my thoughts are going to land on this book, but I bought it for a video that I'm filming, and I really wanted to have a physical copy, so... We'll see if that was a good idea or not, but I also really like the cover for this one, and I like the color of it. So, there we go. We'll see, we'll see. So, yes, there's the haul, all the books I bought, and that's the end of the video. I really hope you guys enjoyed this. I l always love a good come book shopping with me, so I hope you guys did too. And if you did enjoy it, please let me know what the latest book you have obtained is, whether that be you bought it, you borrowed it from the library, somebody bought it for you you illegally downloaded it off the internet i'm not here to judge um yes i will see you guys in my next video again thank you so much for watching